Hello Janice. Hello. Hello. We're here at the trade show today and I saw you on TV this morning. Yes, I've had a very busy weekend. <laughs> a very busy weekend. Could you tell me something about how you started in textiles? Um, so I've got a textile degree um, but I specialised in knitwear first and patchwork and quilting was my hobby and knitting was work. So when I had the boys I had more time to spend on my hobby so I did more patchwork and quilting and that's when I developed a real passion for it. So I've always been designing and I've always been making as long as I've ever known. I can't remember not making. Well, I remember when you first, when I first came across you, you were doing your free motion embroidery. That's one of my first and favourite things to do on a sewing machine. So I call it drawing with your sewing machine. It's my favourite technique and I add it to fusible applique. Now tell me about your lovely apron that you're wearing. My pinny. My pinny came about because I used to work from home, a little room off the kitchen and I had two small boys. And my work is designing, sewing, making, painting, all lovely things. And you know what it is? You save the lovely things until the chores are done. And the chores are never, ever, ever done. So I realised that I needed to trick myself into feeling at work. And the easiest way to do that is to wear a uniform for the job in hand. And the easiest uniform to make is an apron. So I made an apron, very expensive white linen, and then I added my favourite badges, lots of precious bits of lace, and I've been stitching into it for about seven years now, and it's become a really important part of my creativity and my process. I put it on, I've promised myself to be creative, and everyone around me knows that that is what I am going to do. I'm not walking the dog, I'm not cooking dinner, I'm not doing mass homework, I am being creative. So do you like uh, doing embroidery as well as your love quilting? I love everything. I'm a textile designer, so I love anything to do with stitching. I love uh, crochet, but I'm hopeless at crochet. love knitting, love embroidery. I will have a go at anything to do with fabric and thread. And your lovely books that you brought out to do with yep. Freya, the dog. Yep. When did they, When did the ideas behind those start to, um, develop, to be developed? It was always on my wish list to write a book and I decided not to wait for a publisher just to self-publish. So I just I just started and my friend Haley's a graphic designer so she helped me. Um, yeah, I just, I just make things happen really. I think I just don't be put off by things. I just have a go. And your book, Wordsmith, how did that yes. come about? The Wordsmith is because as the boys were growing up, I wanted to keep an art journal and I wanted to, you know, have all the beautiful photographs and the calligraphy writing about what we were doing and keep all this me mementos. And I realised that I don't do paper craft, I stitch. So it, the memory quilt in the Wordsmith is about stitching our memories rather than um, paper crafting them. And your work with Moda, when did that start? In 2012 I had a collection accepted and I just sent in original paintings to them completely cold just because I wanted to make some fabric and I got really lucky and she liked them, the design director liked them and here we are. <laughs> and how many collections have you made now for them? I've done about 12 I think, so I usually do about two a year, sometimes I do three but usually two a year, so yeah. And you have an online a newsletter, a newsletter. I do People have an email club and I do yes. a free block of the month which anyone can get, anybody can download. So you need to go to my website and you can click on all the links and get my email club letter. So if somebody wants to find out more about you, what email address would it be? www.janetclare.co.uk is the website and my email is janet at janetclare.co.uk. Thank you very much, Janet. You're welcome. Nice to see you.